Good morning, my beautiful souls. My name is Kwame, yes, Kwame Fields. And I'm here today to give you a cute little general reading. It should be about five minutes, I'm hoping. <laughs> um, so today is March 18th, Monday. Beautiful. Um, so you guys could be definitely in the uh, get up and go nine to five work mood at this point, especially because there's a lot of stuff going on in the astral realm right now involving um, conjunctions with Aries in North Node and Libra in South Node. So today specifically will probably be a very memorable day for all of you. Um, now, I was doing this reading for myself, but uh, with how the reading kind of went out, I wanted to share with everyone else. So this is going to be my Pisces reading for the week, guys. Um, <laughs> I probably just said general reading already, but it's going to be Pisces because I love you guys. Anyways, and it makes sense. I think y'all will definitely resonate with something and in, in similarity to what this is saying. So the first thing that I can say is I drew, like for me, especially, I draw um, these cards first. I draw my little beer cards first to see like what the overall energy in, in the astro is, right? So there's a lot of energy talking about the join the Tatanka Stampede. And then at the bottom of the deck, you have all aboard. So I feel like in the general uh, space and the general energy, um, you have the people who are breaking off and the people who are going on their divine path at the moment and becoming very independent, isolated, hermit energy, all that jazz, right? And then you have on the other side, you have the people who have not learned their lessons yet, the people who are still falling into the same cycles over and over again, the people who are trying to put their mask back on. They're trying to hide um, a lot of their healing and growth that needs to take place with other people. They're projecting themselves onto other people um, and they're going through this crazy process of like flight or fight or flight. Um, they're going through fight or flight energy with each other, fight, literally fighting with each other, going through chaos with each other um, in order to like see who can make it out when all they need to do is just drop their swords. Um, and then you'll be good, you know? Um, but based on that, this reading has a lot of swords in it today. Two, two, two could be significant. Um, but anyways, we're going to begin. Um, so Pisces, um, at the bottom of the deck, I drew the full card. Um, so Pisces, you may not know a lot of what's going on right now because there's a lot of fucking chaos going on at the burr. Or there may have just been a lot of chaos that just resolved at the burr, right? And now everything is being set at like ground zero is kind of what I'm feeling. Oh, and then the fool is literally card number zero. <laughs> yeah, everything's being set at ground zero. Uh, 303 could be significant for people to um, start shooting into their desires and whatnot. Um... And so, Pisces, you may not know what you want to do exactly going forward, but you know what you don't want. And you know that you're in the mood to uh, get out of your extensive period of boredom and being in the mundane, practically. Echo, play Root Chakra Meditation. Root Chakra, Muladhara by Chakra Meditation Specialist for Apple Music. Okay. Um... Yes, but you, you're definitely wanting to go on a new adventure at this time. And I feel like with these cards, um, Spirit is giving you the okay to do so. So that is very good. Um, you could have also been planting like specific seeds at this time to be... That scared me. <laughs> You'd be planting seeds at this time in order to um make sure that something is like stable or staying with you for the course of the future because you could have realized when you were investing in the past that um a lot of the things you you might have had a little bit too much of the full energy here uh, a lot of the things that you invested in in the past um you kind of had like a gemini energy with it you would you would put into it right and then like it would dissolve <laughs> like fish um in about 0.5 seconds right um, but with this time period that you've had away from karmic people in your life who made you have to go through all those cycles over and over again, since you had those time away from those people, you've had time to be able to like plant sturdy seeds in your uh, surrounding environment, whether that be love, whether that be finance, whether that be anything involving the self, you've been able to cultivate yourself very well um, at this point. And so you're ready to go and embark on a new and wild journey. Um, but 
before you do that, Mr. Pisces or Mrs. Pisces out there, um, I do want to let you know that, like I said, the rest of this reading involves a whole bunch of swords. So there's a whole bunch of crazy buffoonery going on um, that you should still be aware of. So let me let you know. So um, I'm going to go over these three cards. Let me show you. <laughs> these three cards right here. <laughs> um... So the first card that I drew out of these cards was the Four of Swords. Um, so there could be someone in I do. So there's someone in your energy. Um, this could be a past karmic in general, someone who was in your life, um, who wasn't meant for your highest good, and they gave you a lot of issues. They gave you a lot of uh, problems, or they gave you a lot of distractions and held you back from your divine purpose. Right. Um, there's a lot of those people, but there's one energy who has been in this chaos that you have managed to avoid. They're getting out of it, right? And you can see here that they've now, they're now calm enough to be in a place of meditation, um, in a place of contemplation, in a place of thinking, um, about everything that just happened and then what they want to do going forward. So they could be very um, exhausted at this time as well, especially because you can see the swords in that photo being hung up um, and then them being completely in a state of rest. Um, that is their current. So they're not doing much right now. They're trying to like find those last little bits and pieces um, that they can put together for their meticulous little plan to come walk their happy asses back into your life. Um, this person, they do have a deep well of emotion and love for you. There's a lot of passion. There's a lot of de desire um, when it comes to this person. Um, you could also be thinking about this person. This could be some type of union or divine union, someone that you have dated in the past, possibly an ex. Um, and as you can see, it's like they're they're looking at each other through the clouds and through the blue. Um, through the emotion and through the what ifs. But when you're looking up at the sun and when you're looking at what the purpose is for this union, um, it could have lots of um, happy, healthy, and like meaningful moments here for you. So I'm not getting a lot of bad energy from this card, uh, which is interesting because like the rest of the, the rest of the reading is swords, right? Um, so I feel like if anybody's coming into your space and in their future, I'd say definitely use your discernment because I feel like there's a lot of hiding energy going on right now. There's a lot of people, um, literally only focusing on themselves. And so it's easy for people to mask their true intentions of like what they're trying to do because they're not focused on. Ah, oh. <gasps> bitch. Don't trust this person. <laughs> uh, uh, nope. No, because like, what the fuck? I'm sitting here telling y'all 818 could be significant. I'm telling y'all how they are worried about themselves and not really cared about. And then I just like smack the lover's hand out of my hand. The lover's card that involves another person, right? So they have this deep of desire, but I feel like Pisces. This meditative state has nothing to do with you. They would not be in this space of contemplation and in this state of meditation as to what they should do next or even considering approaching you if they didn't get karma, is what I'm getting. These bitches had to go through tower after tower after tower to get to this point. And um, I'm getting a childlike energy in this reading, especially with this page of swords. Um, this is the last card that dropped out. It dropped to the floor and then it came out sideways like this, right? So um, that's talking about a young energy wanting to come out with some sort of communication or conflict to somebody. Um, they say that they're fair, um, but there could be evil intentions or confusion or lack of knowledge involved when it comes to a being sideways. Um, ooh, it's like, I don't know, with this energy, I feel like they could come to you one second and be a 100% down to commit to you and love you and take care of you and whatever have that great relationship with you but then the next second later their their mind or their heart is being pulled in other directions they're like okay i finally got out of this chaos now i could go back to divine divine person over here 
or I could go back to this or I could have a new beginning and say F everybody. You know, it's, it's absolutely up to them at this point. Um, but when it comes to their future, which something that they don't even know, I feel like they uh, have just been like so mentally tortured through the situation with you, Pisces, um, of just like realizing how much you may have not even done in the situation, how much they kind of dug themselves a grave in the situation. Um, they're, they're in high regret about that. And they also don't know how you're going to react if they come towards you, right? Which makes perfect sense because like, you know, Pisces give and give and give until they don't anymore. And, you know, they kind of they kind of make it very clear in how they move that that's the case. So I uh, it's understandable for this person to be having some sort of fear in that moment. I feel like, though, that is the only fear that they are feeling at this moment. Um, they don't feel fear with really anything else because they just had to go through those lessons um, to break themselves out of those cycles. So they're pretty resilient in their mindset, in their thought process at this very moment. However, I don't think it has to do with you. I don't think they're still steadfast on what they should do with you. And I think that's where this contemplating card comes from. I think they're very financially stable. I think that they kind of know like what they want to do, where they want to go um, in that aspect in the near future coming up. But when it comes to who they want to give their love to, I think that's where this gets a little jumbled. So I was not going to do this, but I... Oh, bitch, sorry. What they don't know that's coming in the future with this Two of Swords in reverse is um, lying, deceit, duality. So with all these Swords cards, especially the Page of Swords in reverse and the Two of Swords in reverse, even though they're blindfolded, you could... Oh, it's a blindfolded bitch in reverse. So you could be definitely having a stalker at this time. Someone is like um, analyzing the actual fuck out of you to see if they can... Get further information about you, um, about maybe who you're messing around with on the side, maybe about like if you're actually really single and just focusing on this career. They're trying to really figure out like what you got going on mentally, physically, emotionally, spiritually, everything so that they know how to move going forward. Because I know at this point, Pisces, that you're very spiritual and you're very intuitive and intellective when it comes to what people are doing in your space and in your energy. And this comes to even when they're not even around you. You just seem to know things. And it scares this person because they're also very intuitive and they also move very meticulously despite their childlike energy. They're very, very smart. So when you come at them with this like, oh, I see right through you bullcrap, they're like, they're stunned. It makes them like you even more, by the way. But, you know... I don't like the energy. <laughs> I don't like the energy at all. It's giving me childish. It's giving me too childish. There's there's a, there's a difference. There's a balance. Like you could be childish um, and it'd be like adding to the flavor of like the dynamic, you know? But then there's this childish where it's just like, oh, I'm taking care of you. And it's like, what the fuck? No, 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 no. I'm not doing that. And that'd be really pissing me off because it's like, girl, you masculines. Let me stop talking shit. But like, I will. You masculines, you sit here wanna you wanna take care of everybody, you wanna be somebody daddy, but bitch, you need the diaper. How'd that work? Anyways, let me stop. I was not gonna pull these out because these cards spooked the fuck out of me yesterday. Tarot is real, y'all, okay? These are highly sexual energy cards. This represents your north node and your south node. Tap into your north node at this time. Hallelujah. Okay. Spirit, what is this person looking at Pisces, what are they meditating on? What is the four swords? What is the four swords in the upright? So we got the queen of pentacles. Queen of pentacles. Let's see. Okay, so um, I just got these, this deck and this deck is also like very non-descriptive, if you will. So it's a lot of like using your imagination, but you can see here that this lady is wait where's the heart okay so this lady is naked half naked right and then this man looks like he's fully naked yep yep um so 
this lady is in some kind of reserve. She is in an energy of receiving. Um, this is a definite high feminine energy card. This energy is focusing on the female. Um, you can see that her heart is nowhere near her body. Um, it's on this little stand over here, and that could be where she's directing her attention. And as you see, there's another mirror here. Um, so she's, whoa. But I also drew this on the Four of Swords. So I said, like, why? What is this person contemplating? What is this person meditating about? This person could be contemplating and meditating just about how divine you are. Like, just about how, like, how amazing you are. Hold on, bruh. <laughs> Don't mind my weirdness, y'all. It's gonna get weirder. What? in another deck but when it comes to uh, i'm not doing this again <laughs> no i won't i refuse oh pentacles and then where's the queen coolness the magic of the bay leaves lol <laughs> okay so like um pisces like you could be dealing with a divine masculine there's so much masculine energy going right now <laughs> Which is crazy, because, like, what the fuck? But anyways, this card talks about coolness. Um, so the Queen of Pentacles, she um, is in a state of being very abundant and very receiving, like I had said before. She knows what she wants, um, and she is not, like, you know, all over the place energetically, because she doesn't need to be. The things that she wants comes to her in her lap. When it talks about the magic of the bay leaves, bay leaves, those are like, you know, calming, soothing, or things that are put in things to enhance them. Right. Um, so I feel like this, uh, this, whoever this is, going for you, Pisces, this person could see you as someone who's very put together. Someone who's calm, cool, collected. Someone who has their money together. Someone who's very beautiful. Someone who's very mentally, emotionally, spiritually. I want to say beautiful. I was about to say um, put together, but like they they have they see a high vi vibration of beauty inside of you, and this could be showing that they want to like care for you and love on you and give you that care that you think you that they think you need for some reason, right? Whatever. <laughs> Ciao, big foot, but just a little small fry. Echo, can you explain? Did I say echo? I keep doing that shit. What does that mean? I don't like that. Like, spirit and an echo. Be for real. Look at the difference in those two names. Spirit and echo. Like, one is a robot. One is a fucking spirit. I'm, I'm putting two and two together. Y'all think y'all are slick. But anyways, <sighs> Spirit, what is this page of swords and sideways? <laughs> I love saying that. Oh, hell no. Wow. Wow, wow. Wow. Pisces. I'm trying to get it together. I'm trying to get it together. Pisces. When this person comes in, I don't know what the fuck they're going to say. I don't think they know what they're going to say. They think they're so fucking smart. They think they're motherfucking so slick. <laughs> These, they, oh. <laughs> oh, wow. Uh. Oh, sorry. I'm sorry. Okay, I need to, I need to, fuck. This man, uh, like, yuck. Where the fuck is it? I need to stop cursing. Sorry, guys. But, like, let's be so for real right now. Let's be sober. And then I can't even find it. What is the wheel? Okay. The wheel talks about change and then the seduction of the mirror. Okay. The wheel talks about change. A seduction of the mirror. 
this is so weird <laughs> i don't know what this is okay so the wheel talks about change and, and then the seduction of the mirror so that when i think of that when i think of those words i think of an individual person and, and their own path right but when i think of this page of, this, pa this page of swords on sideways <laughs> oh! and like them like being fair and noble and wanting to just go out on a path of conflict there he's oh i'm saying it he who's he there could be a man involved in this man boy child whatever but um, he's weighing his options, baby girl. You're not the only bitch out here. Pisces, you're not the only person out here. You could be a man, you could be a female. But if you just got done with a relationship with somebody, an ex, and you cut them out of your life for a specific reason, then they want to come back in to give you some sort of reconciliation. No. Fucking no, because what I'm getting is this shit is all fake. This is for more bullcrap. It's like they're lost, so they're trying to find a way to keep you in the loop of conflict, to keep you in their cycle. There is a lot of desire, there's a lot of lust, there's a lot of passion here. But I don't see anything else. I don't see any will to, like, start anything new. There's no aces in this whole reading. There's no 2021 could be significant, but there's nothing. Like, there's no new beginnings in love, new beginnings in money. New be this is all old shit that he's wanting to dig up from the past. Mm. And, yeah, he might want to put you in a third-party situation. Could be like, oh, uh, it's too much for me, y'all. Too much for me already. Jesus, Spirit. Spirit, can you explain the Two of Swords in reverse, please? Can you explain the Two of Swords in reverse? Mm. So we got the Eight of Pentacles. That just came out in the reading that I was looking at online. Eight of Pentacles. So in the Eight of Pentacles, we have indifference. The magic is in a cup of coffee. Okay. Okay, so uh, Pisces, when it comes to you specifically, um, this Two of Swords in Reverse, when I was telling you how they're just trying to get some kind of like control or domineering effect back into their life. They want to be big dog once again. They want to be put back on the throne once again. They're trying to do this at whatever the cost and they're not going to let anybody stop them. But what I want you to understand is that this includes you as well. This includes you. They will run your ass over again, <laughs> again, to get what they need to get from what I'm getting from this card. The Eight of Pentacles, you see here that she is drinking a cup of coffee and she's half clothed. They just got done with sex. They just got done with sex and she's looking out. Not even, not even satisfied, her. But this man is satisfied and he's giving her a rose, trying to like do all that shit. Like, it's, okay, so what I'm getting is your counterpart, your ex, whatever, who wants to come back in, they... They played the field so well when you weren't in their space that they want to now come back now that they've, like, destroyed all of that energy for them, now that they've, like, stripped themselves of all those opportunities for themselves. They want to come back into your energy, and they want to have good times with you. They want to heal with you. They want to reconcile with you. This does not necessarily mean that they want to be in a commitment with you. Um, like how you may have wanted it in the past. They're still on their bullshit and they're very indifferent when it comes to being with you. Um, it's like they've been through so much with you. It's like they just prefer you be in their space. And if not, then oh well, you know? So it's kind of like this like poo-poo, lackluster energy. I'm telling y'all, I wasn't liking it this whole time. These cards are all giving like good, not bad shit. But I see right through this. This is not... They're very childish. They're very stubborn. They're very immature. And they're very much... I feel like as soon as this energy comes in, they're going to be a fucking blazing ball of passion. They're going to be so hot and heavy on your ass, Pisces. Because they have been wishing... 20, 24, 42 could be significant. But they have been wishing for you for months, years. However long you've been away from them. They have been trying to slowly but surely manifest you back into their life. And they are so confident that you're going to come back and be right in their arms again. 
um use your discernment if you want this person back in your life pisces if you are trying to start some new project of yours whether it be a new business um something that just really makes your heart spark something go all absolutely on fire if you've been striving towards this and you feel someone that's about to come into your energy don't let them back in um i just don't see it going any kinds of well i see them giving you some type of holding you back energy or some type of negative energy, whether you bring them in or whether you don't. So let them do their bullshit. Let them have their tears. And you keep walking and doing what you need to do, my sweet Pisces, because like, can't nobody stop us right now. You know, we had to, we had to listen to all these people be in their blah, 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 powerful energy, blah. And they didn't do shit with it. And all you wanted was that chance to do something with what they had. And now you're about to get it. I'm telling you. So let's just not focus on these men. Ooh. Let's just not focus on these relationships <laughs> for right now, y'all. Because, like, there is such an energy in the air to go for your calling. Like, there's so much more we can do with our lives than be focusing on a limp dick bitch with no common sense. All right. Spirit, is there any final inspirational messages for the Pisces at this time? Is there any final messages through the affirmation cards for the Pisces at this time for anything you want them to hear? Well, I want y'all to hear something, so we're going to do it again. Any, <laughs> any uh, inspiring messages for the Pisces at this time for any inspiring messages based on this reading? Because, <laughs> like, yeah, I, I've been trying to tell them what to do, how to act, but there's not a lot of guidance. There's not a lot of do this, do that. It's a blank page, Pisces, so it's kind of like, <sighs> join the bandwagon, hop on the motherfucking bandwagon and not the one that you're thinking, but of the one of productivity, of the one of let's get it, of the one let's go for our dreams. Go on that bandwagon and you won't be disappointed is what I'm getting. Ooh, I was about to say. Okay, bye. Mm -hmm. Yup. Today, I am powerful. Today, my potential to succeed and conquer challenges is absolutely limitless. There is no limits to what you can do today, Mrs. or Mr. Pisces. So I hope this message resonated with you guys well. Um, I hope it gave you some form of clarity as to what could be happening in your life at this moment. Um... Yes, I will be back uh, probably next week or sometime tomorrow with a motivational message from The Language of Letting Go by Madison B. Um, and yeah, that's all I got for you guys at this time. Make good choices. Much love.